Um, well, I, I think that the short answer is that everyone has a role to play. It, plastic is a pervasive issue that you know starts at the very top of, of the chemical industry all the way down to us as individual consumers making choices to buy plastic. So all of us have a role that we can play in intervening. Um, certainly we as individuals, as we touched on earlier, through our buying habits can send messages um, to those companies that are maybe doing the wrong things as well as to those companies that are being rewarded for doing the right things. Um, at, at the state and national government level, um, looking at policies that, that you know, address the, the systemic plastic issue and, and make producers responsible for, for the end of life impacts in recovering those materials. And then at the industry themselves, changing their manufacturing processes, changing the actual materials they are using so that they're, if at the end of the day, by chance, those potential products enter the, the marine uh, environment, there, there is no possibility for, for there to be negative impacts. And um, I'll pass it over to Bill in a second, but essentially the Trash Free Seas Alliance um, is, a, is an entity that Ocean Conservancy founded a little over a year ago that brings together uh, industry members, government members, other nonprofits that are out there to the same table to really address the issue of, of plastic and packaging and try and devise innovative solutions that will actually have a demonstrable impact on the marine environment and our ocean. When uh, when I get asked that question, I I, uh, I answer it a couple of different ways, but it's it would be kind of like sifting the Sahara Desert uh, <laughs> by using a, a kitchen strainer and having one person go out and do that. The oceans are so huge, and unless you've been far out at sea, uh, as Nick has. And, or on an island, a uh, remote island, uh, even like Hawaii, where you've had to travel over those thousands of miles of nothing but water in order to reach land, do you get a perspective for how much water there really is on this planet? Unfortunately, plastic breaks down into very, very small pieces and is carried with, uh, with water and, and currents and winds throughout the ocean. And so the concentration and the distribution of this is so widespread and so the particles are so small that to try to clean it up is just not practical. Um, the concentration I mentioned uh, earlier of a tenth of a gram per cubic meter would probably not even be enough for a gold mining operation <laughs> to to set up. Uh, and the economics, when you look at the price of gold of, you know, what, $1,000 an ounce, I'm not an investor in gold, I don't know, but a huge number, well, plastic, you're looking at probably a hundredth of a cent per ounce for recovered plastic. So there's no economic stimulus to do that.